as a Kenyan, you will soon enjoy lowered cost of power following the launch for the construction of a new 35 megawatts power plant at the Menengai Geothermal Project, Nakuru County. While officiating over the groundbreaking ceremony of the power plant, President William Ruto noted that fossil fuels are expensive, hence the need for renewables like geothermal energy. The new power plant by Or Power 22 is the third and last facility in the 105 megawatts Menengai Geothermal Project, which is operated by the state-owned Geothermal Development Company, GDC. So you have some in the... the president noted that the entry of Or Power 22 demonstrates government commitment towards unlocking Kenya's vast geothermal potential. The commencement of this project to establish a 35 megawatt power plant by All Power 22 highlights our commitment to unlock Kenya's vast geothermal potential to drive economic growth. It is also a clear demonstration of our strength in mobilizing private sector investment to develop critical infrastructure and provide essential services, thereby accelerating economic transformation. Your Excellency, let me take you through. This is the GDC control room. Earlier, the president toured the Menengai Steamfield control room, where he was received by the chairman of the board of directors, Honorable Walter Nyambati, the managing director, Mr. Paul Ngugi, and members of the board. We have several projects that are coming. The president was taken through a concise display of GDC's activities. He planted a tree and visited the control room. In his remarks, the president further strongly defended investment in green energy, noting that Kenya has showcased the possibility of economic growth through clean energy. The completion of the 105 megawatt Menengai project will elevate Kenya's global ranking to fifth overall globally, establishing beyond all contestation that economic growth and clean energy development can go hand in hand. Or Power 22 will invest $90 million in this power plant in the model of build on operate basis. The power plant will take 14 months to construct. The power generator will buy geothermal steam from GDC to generate the power which will later be sold to Kenya Power for distribution. The other independent power producers at Meningai are Socian Power and Globlek. Now, Socian generating 35 megawatts of geothermal power. Globlek broke ground in June 2023. Its 35 megawatts power plant is under construction. The president challenged the GDC to take leadership in driving Kenya towards energy transition. I urge the Geothermal Development Corporation to develop and sustain a high capacity to offer effective leadership in driving Kenya's energy transition. On her part, Susan Kihika, the governor of Nakuru County, noted that her administration and GDC are at advanced stage in setting up an integrated industrial park at the Menengai Geothermal Project. The county government of Nakuru, in partnership with GDC, is keen in developing a framework for local and international industrial developers' engagement for the utilization of available resources and, in particular, the county government of Nakuru is desirous to accelerate green industrial development within the county. This particular power plant is going to not only add additional power to the national grid, but is going to go a long way, a long way indeed, in terms of creating an opportunity for investors to come into our country. GTC, which is a government enterprise, is doing everything possible to ensure that uh, we deal with the matters of energy. Geothermal is the way to go because, number one, it's clean, it is affordable, and it is renewable, and again, it's dependable. GDC is setting the geothermal agenda for the country. Indeed, Kenya runs on geothermal energy, thanks to GDC. GDC.